Today I want to talk about a Windows 11 alternative that I've been using and I think it's absolutely great for most people. It's called Zorin OS, specifically version 16.2 is what I've been using and I'm here on their website where they offer a pro version and core version as well as a light version. Personally, I think Zorin OS is a great alternative for up and coming Linux users that are trying to switch over from Windows and Mac OS because it's designed to be very user friendly and even give support for some Windows programs directly. So let's talk about some of the differences here. So the Pro Edition mainly just gives you support by the development team at Zorin OS. That's why you would pay the 39 bucks to get it. But of course, if you wanna try it out for free, you can do so by getting Zorin OS Lite or Zorin Core. So the main difference between these two here is Lite is for older computers and basically revamps them to have a second life. And then Core is your basic version that's a little more resource intensive and is built for, as it says, modern computers. Both of them are free and available to download today. I'll put a link in the description below. And soon I wanna get over to my desktop where we're gonna check things out in a brand new Zorin OS installed operating system. But before we do, smash that like button and subscribe below for more Linux tips and tricks and programming videos. Let's talk about the differences here between the additions. So basically with the Pro, you get all these check marks across the board. You don't get the lightweight desktop. You don't get premium desktop layouts, a professional grade of suite apps, advanced productivity, software support, artwork, or installation support, which again, this is the main thing that most people may want to pay the extra $39 for. And with Lite, it doesn't come with the phone linkage app or the advanced GNOME desktop. So with all that being said, what am I using? I'm using the Zorin OS 16.2 Core Edition for modern computers. If you hit the download free, you can skip to download right away and, and get yourself started on Zorin OS 16.2. But let's go over to the desktop so where I can show you some of the exciting features that I love about Zorin OS and why I think it's a great alternative for Windows and Mac OS users. To first start out, this is a brand new install as a beginner. So you can see it as a fresh installation. You can see that the desktop environment is very simple, almost like Windows 10, but you have some taskbar icons down here, as well as the time and date on the far right hand corner. You can access some of your favorite applications in some of the defaults here on the left hand side. And finally the start menu or the Z all the way on the left hand side. The desktop has nothing in the background besides this beautiful mountain. But one great thing I wanna mention is you can easily install NVIDIA graphics driver support through the installer image by just selecting an NVIDIA install method, which makes it absolutely fantastic. I love operating systems that do this and make it super simple for you to install the NVIDIA proprietary drivers right out of the installer. A lot of Linux distributions do this nowadays, but I'd say about half of them require you to actually use a completely different ISO to install it. So this is a plus for Zorin because they allow you to just choose this option out of the box with one specific ISO. So basically there's no post install crap or hoops that you have to go through to install the proprietary NVIDIA drivers. So we can tell here the default desktop experience is much like you would find in Windows, perhaps an older version of Windows, not Windows 11 necessarily, but uh, very similar to what you would find on perhaps Windows 10. And what's also great is Zorin is offered in three different types. What do I mean by types? Well, there's a tech version, a personal use version, and an education version. The personal use really branches out into three things, and that's the light version for older computers, the core version for modern computers, and the pro version for people who need support. Short of that, one of the best things about Zorin is the fact that that helps Windows users use Active Directory support built in. And if you type in Windows, you'll get this Windows app support application that you can install. And I highly suggest installing this if you need to or want to install some type of Windows app on Zorin OS. This is one of the greatest features that they have. This is a built in application. This is a application that they've created that allows you to run many Windows applications inside 
Zorin OS as if they were apps that belong to Zorin. And personally, I believe this is a great thing that Zorin has done for us Windows users and is one of the main reasons that I've been using it because of that app support. But back to checking some of the apps out that is native to Zorin. In accessories, we have things like setting timers and clocks, files, maps, text editor to do and weather, all the basic things that you wanna do for basic everyday things. In games, it has Mahjong, Mines, Mines much like Minesweeper and Sudoku. For graphics, they have a GIMP installed by default. It takes a little while to get used to GIMP, but it's a free and open source tool and personally, I like it better than Photoshop now. After I've been using it for years on end, I've just gotten used to the GUI and support on GIMP. I think it's an absolutely fantastic application and I'm glad Zorin includes it here. It has the image viewer, which much of these applications you see here are going to be directly from GNOME with a theme built in by Zorin. Moving on to internet, you have the Firefox web browser as your default web browser. Office is going to come in with the LibreOffice suite. Sound and video will use Rhythmbox as the main way to play back music. System tools gets you access to various different administration tools across the board. And one thing I suggest checking out is the Tour app. Just make sure to turn down your volume at this point because they have this crazy noise here. which gets very loud if you're not expecting it. Anyway, let's start the tour. And it's just very basic things that will get you around the desktop environment, including the Zorin's Appearance app, which is a fantastic application. You'll have to check it out if you wanna customize your appearance even more. We'll get to this Zorin Appearance app in just a moment, but before we do, let's keep going here. Connect your online accounts, including the Zorin Connect app, which is something I wanna talk about real quick. If you go to Zorin Connect, this allows you to actually connect your computer up to your mobile device. And you can do things such as message people, share information between your desktop and your phone, and even have remote control for your computer. You'll want to connect the app to whatever device that you have. And personally, I think it's a great app. I've used it with my mobile phone before. And overall, it gets the job done. I do have some sync issues every once in a while, but not a big deal. Nothing that prevents me from doing things. Anyways, you can also launch the software center where you can download and install new apps. I will tell you that the different places that you can actually get applications from include flat packs from the flat hub. You can also install regular dev packages or even snaps. So stuff like Discord or Spotify, probably snaps. Let me see if I can search for Spotify real quick. And if we go down here, well, that one's a flat pack. I wonder what, uh, let's see, maybe something like Discord would be. And Discord here is a flat pack as well. Well, I do know that they have snap packages as well. Either way, they have a wide variety with the repos so you can install just about any app that you really need. And one reason to go through the tour can help you install only Office if you need better support for Microsoft Office documents. So it says here, it works best with these types of documents, which include all of the supported Microsoft Office documents. And finally, at the end, you close things down and let's go back to Zorin Appearance. In a moment, we're gonna check out that wonderful Windows support app. But before we do, check out the Savvy Nick store below, a digital Linux cheat sheet that I've created and a checklist as well that will help you on your Linux journey. With that being said, Zorin Appearance is one of is one fantastic app that Zorin has made and that I love because you can change between the various different appearances. And the one I actually have set to is this one right here, which looks more like Windows 11. I, like I said at the beginning, I've been using Zorin OS as an alternative to Windows 11. And one of the reasons is because it looks like Windows 11. Notice once I change the appearance here, my favorite apps are appearing here in the middle, much like Windows 11. I have the taskbar on the right and I can get quick access to applications on the left-hand side and even hide applications and go straight to the desktop with this button. Anyways, this is the one I'm using mainly. Check out Theme if you wanna get the dark mode enabled, which I absolutely love, or you can actually set a schedule to go between the dark theme and the light theme. I'm just gonna go with the dark theme. And of course you can 
change the accent color of everything by simply clicking on one of these. We'll go back to blue, but there are quite a few beautiful colors there. You can also change things like the interface and enable jelly mode, which makes things really trippy if you use it. I'm gonna disable that because I don't really need that going on. But you can also edit your desktop and fonts from here. Continuing on in the dark mode, and now I wanna show you what the Windows Support app did for us. You'll notice that you can configure Wine now, you'll have Play on Linux, and you can uninstall Wine. You can also browse the C, quote unquote, C directory that Wine has created for you now. But let's hit the Play on Linux, which will help us actually install a program. If we hit the Install a Program button, the repos will get loaded up. And one thing that Zorin has done is they've expanded their built-in library that will detect if a window installer app for popular apps and games and will recommend alternative applications for that same app or game. In their example, they say launching Windows installers for Epic Game Store or GOG Galaxy now directs you to install Heroic Games Launcher, which is the best way to play the same games from Zorin OS. So what I'll do is use Play on Linux to install 7-Zip. That way I can access zip files through this Windows application. Just to show you how things can get easily installed, you can also use Play on Linux to install manual executables as well, which is another fantastic thing that can help you run Windows executables directly here on Zorin OS. And there we go, we have 7-Zip running here and all we have to do is hit run and notice how the Windows application actually comes up here and we can use it as it was intended to be used in Windows directly here in Zorin OS. Again, the main benefit here, you can install Wine on any Linux distribution. It's just how easy they made it with the Windows support application that they've designed here for Zorin OS. Well, with all that being said, let me know in the comment section below if you're thinking about going over to Zorin and actually trying it out as a Windows alternative now that you've seen this. And do not forget to like and subscribe below. Hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.